American Water Polo. Hi, this is Damon Newman from American Water Polo. And we're here today with Scott Reed from McAllister College to learn more about the recruiting process at McAllister. How you doing, Scott? I'm doing well. How are you doing, Damon? I'm doing well, hanging in there, um, you know, making the best of the situation. Yeah. Um, so tell me a little bit about McAllister and yourself. Uh, well, I've been here for, I guess I'm going on five years now. Um, just finished up, unfortunately finished up uh, fifth season, a shortened fifth season, but right. um, um, yeah, I've been coaching for college level for just about over 20 years. So I've uh, been at the game for quite a while. Um, Calgary right. College is a uh, small liberal arts school in, in the Twin Cities in, in Minnesota. Um, we're in a nice little uh, neighborhood community, um, but um, has some pretty easy access to downtown St. Paul and downtown Minneapolis. So um, it's kind of a unique, unique setting to say the least. That's really cool. So, you know, I know, you know, Minnesota is a fairly, um, you know, with, you know, not a water polo rich state, right? Yep. Yep. Um, so you know, what, what's it like? What's it like at living in the Twin Cities? Uh, it's a, um, it's a pretty uh, close knit uh, community. Um, uh, everyone is, is pretty much uh, very accommodating to each other. Uh, when you uh, walk off campus, uh, the community embraces uh, the college. Um, it's just, it's, it's a big, it's one big giant family type of atmosphere here. No, that's cool. That's awesome. At least, yeah. So what does a recruiting process look like in McAllister? Uh, well, typically it, it starts with, um, you know, um, junior emails. Um, in the junior year, um, either I or um, the junior prospects will uh, reach out to me. Um, we encourage uh, junior visits uh, in the spring. Uh, we do have a junior prospect day um, in late April that we try and encourage people to go to. Um, this year, um, we're actually still having it, but it's going to be a virtual one this year. Okay. Um, then... Um, you know, after that um, junior year going into the summer, it's, it's more of an evaluation process to try and go out and uh, watch uh, the prospects um, compete uh, to evaluate a little bit. Um, and uh, then we'll do some more communication there. In the fall is when we try and set up some overnight visits for the individuals that uh, have McAllister in their top two of their lists. Um, and our good uh, early decision candidates. Um, and then um, after that, uh, we'll try and encourage the rest um, that are just thinking about regular decision to uh, come for visits uh, either during the winter or um, during the spring. Okay. So um, I did see that on your Instagram feed, um, the, the, vir the virtual visit. Yeah. What's that going to be like? What um, I think it's a great idea. Uh, it's, it, it's, um, it's basically a webinar that involves admissions, um, involves our athletic director. It um, just basically walks people through uh, campus. Um, it allows people to ask questions um, with admissions, financial aid. Um, then at the end of that webinar is kind of a breakout session where um, uh, the kids will be able to meet with the coaches and the coaches will come up with a like a 15 minute presentation uh, to talk about their individual programs. Well, I like that. That's a, that's a really great idea. I think uh, that, that, you know, if, if you can't be there, that's the next best thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, we have a, we have an athletic director that is um, really uh, a forward thinker and um, you know, once this, um, once campus got shut down, uh, we, we immediately uh, went into overdrive to uh, put this together. Great, great. Yeah. Well, it sounds like a lot of work, but it sounds like it's going to be something that's pretty valuable for PSA. Yeah, it's, um, it's, I think it's a pretty unique opportunity. And um, unlike a uh, physical uh, junior prospect day, we can get as many uh, prospective juniors to um, partake in this. Um, so it's gonna 
hopefully reach out to a lot of people. Great. What's the date on that again? April 25th. Okay. Excellent. Yep. So I'm sure they can probably get the information on the website um, if, if some PSAs are interested. Information's on the website. Um, uh, a lot of the 2021s that I've been in contact will be getting official invitations. Okay. Um, those that have not been contacted me, have not contacted me, um, all you pretty much have to do is go to our online questionnaire. Once you do that, um, your information will be sent to um, myself and admissions, and you'll get invitations from both both areas right. as well. That's great. So you talked a little about the recruiting process. Um, you know, what are some of the character traits you're looking for uh, from from these incoming you know PSAs and also your, your incoming athletes? Uh, I mean, you know, we're, we're looking for competitiveness, um, individuals that have a desire to uh, want to succeed um, as a student as well as an athlete, um, looking for, for thoughtful people that um, like to put others before themselves, unselfish, um, and just, um, you know, people that uh want to experience uh new things um and not be afraid to experience those new things that's uh yeah you want some people that are open and honest and, and looking for yeah. you know to, you know to be coached though very much so so um you talked a little about juniors reaching out um have you had experience with you know freshmen and sophomores um would, would you recommend they start the process early, or, or how has that been for you at McAllister? Um, we do encounter some emails from, from sophomores. Um, more or less, it's encouraging them to fill out an online questionnaire, get as much information as we can. From um, the athletic department, but uh, most importantly, it gets them information from our, our admissions department. Okay. Cool. Um, but it's not completely necessary. Um, you know, usually, usually the beginning of their junior years is the best time to, to do it because they have some more updated information uh, at that point. Excellent. So how would you um, recommend an athlete prepare for, say, an initial phone conversation with you? Research. Uh, do lots of research. Um, you know, we, we, we want you to be prepared. Um, look up online, see what the school's all about. Look up the academic schedules, see what classes are being offered. And, um, you know, have, have a good sense of, you know, what McAllister College is all about. Um, and then once we have that phone call, have questions. I have a lot of questions um, because we will sit on that phone call for as long as we have to um, to make sure that you have all the information that you need. Okay, great. So come prepare and have have a have a good amount of questions for for the coach. Yes, very much so. And it just doesn't have to be about um, you know specific practices and things like that. It's you know ask me what my philosophy is. You know ask me how I approach certain situations. Um, really try and get a good feel of, you know, what type of coach. Okay, great. Yeah. I mean, you know, we've all been on those, those recruiting calls where you have, um, you yeah, you have somebody who's really outgoing, but you also have recruiting calls where there's people who are more reserved and obviously, yeah. you know, water polo and, and, and athletes and people are, are all different, right? Yeah. Yeah. Very much so. Great. So where do you do most of your off-campus recruiting? In, in a typical, um, you know, uh, a non, you know, pandemic year. <laughs> uh, I mean, you know, primarily we're going where we get the most interest. Um, okay. So, you know, we get a lot of interest from California, um, obviously, because there's a greater number of uh, water polo players in that state. Um, and then um, I look um, – to travel to Illinois um, because of the growing um, high school water polo that they have there. Um, those are the two big areas uh, that we look at. Uh, I have been traveling down to Florida from time to time to a few combines 
um, but also trying to, you know, get up into the Northeast as well. We're trying to cover the, the whole country as best we can, um, but we try and go to the bigger, the bigger events like JOs, um, the events in Illinois because of how close by Illinois is. Right. Yeah. So with the uh, so you so you get out as much as you can and, and kind of hitting those hot spots, um, yeah. you know, throughout the country. Yep. Excellent. So, um, you know, with the COVID outbreak and and the potential for some, you know, for some large tournaments, um, you know, being moved or not really on the traditional time time frame, um, you know, what should a PSA do to be seen? Uh, well, if they have highlight videos or game footage, that's always helpful. Um, but I understand that that's not always the case, um, especially when it comes to game footage. Game footage is oftentimes hard to identify a player, so it's really hard to, to kind of see what they're doing. Um, it really comes down to getting their club coaches and getting their high school coaches involved. Okay. Um, reaching out, contacting me, or me being able to contact them and, and really, um, you know, pick their brains a little bit as to what type of player um, that I've been talking to. All right. And you, you talked a little bit about game footage and, and highlight field reels. Mm -hmm. um, you know, what do you prefer to see if, 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 if in a perfect world? I, I like to see game footage. Uh, I'm not too concerned about the highlights um, because, you know, as a coach, I want to know uh, what the good and the bad is. Right. Um, because I'd like to see, you know, what, what we need to work on, um, and, and, you know, down the road. So I, I do want to see those bad things. Um, I like to see how the prospect handles themselves when they're in that bad situation or they do something bad. So it kind of gives me a good idea of, of the whole player and not just the highlights. Gotcha. So if they have some game footage you know, that you recommend to see that, Highlight films are, are not not as not as um, not as beneficial to a, to a coach. I mean, the highlight films they they help. They they give me um, an idea of how strong their their basic skills are. Um, right. You know how well they use their legs, um, what they can do in repetitions, things like that. Um, so it it does help me, um, but ultimately I do like to see the game the game footage. Excellent. So the um, can you give any advice to a PSA that might not that, that wants to play in college um, that might not have the opportunity to be seen say at a large tournament um, that that or maybe doesn't play for a large club? Yeah, I, I mean it comes down to getting their coaches involved. Okay, um, giving the recommendations. You know, once I get a chance to speak with a coach. Um, it allows me to, you know, get a good idea of, you know, what type of system that coach puts in place for his team. Um, you know, what does he work on in terms of the basic skills? So it gives me a good idea of, you know, how much knowledge that, that junior prospect would have or that prospect would have. Excellent. Yeah. Um, what are some of like the, the popular, I know McAllister academically is a really strong school. Um, you know, what are some of the popular academics that, that you've seen, um, you know, your athletes currently on the team, uh, you know, matriculate towards or, you know, some of the PSAs might be interested in? It's, uh, believe it or not, it's pretty widespread um, okay. among the team. Um, we do get a lot of kids that are interested in the environmental sciences. Um, individuals that are interested in the medical fields will um, pursue the uh, sciences that we have here. Um, and then one of the most popular um, departments uh, as of late has been our computer science department. Uh, we have a big demand for that. And um, it, it's getting to the point where we're kind of running out of room because so many people want to be in computer science. Wow. Um, so, um, you know, it, it's, it's definitely pretty widespread. So what's life like for a student athlete, you know, at McAllister? <laughs> Eat, sleep, study. Um, <laughs> and, you know, because we're a small school, everybody, everybody knows each other. Um, right. So, you know, if they're not, if they're not in classes, they're, they're, you know, doing their work study or they're, um, 
than doing an internship of some sort um, because of our location. It's really easy to do internships during the school year um, and in some cases during our season. Um, and if they're not doing that, then they're either practicing or they're participating in some sort of, you know, special interest group, whether it's fine arts or um, some other area. So they stay busy, uh, right. without a doubt. There's not, there's not a lot of downtime um, because most of the McAllister students just don't want that downtime. They want to keep themselves busy. They want, they want to be busy. They want to be scheduled and they're used to yeah. having things to do. Yes, very much so. Excellent. So you're, you're, that's a really good thing to know for student athletes is, you know, people that want to stay busy, want to, want to be involved in the community, want to be obviously academically oriented. Yes, very much. So finally, you know, if there is uh, people out there who, who are watching the video here and, and they're interested in McAllister, um, you know, what's, the, what's their next step? Uh, fill out our online uh, questionnaire. Um, it's on our athletic website. It's in the recruiting um, recruiting page. Uh, they fill that out. I get an instant email saying that they filled it out. And um, at that point, I would I'd reach out as quickly as I can. Great. I, Perfect. Really, Scott, this has been really informative here. I'm learning more about McAllister College. Um, this is Damon Newman from American Water Polo. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and our website, AmericanWaterPolo.org. Remember, it's important to stay connected to what's important to you.